The Nuggets have clinched a playoff spot for the first time since 2013. Your first playoff berth as well. Uh, just what is the feeling right now with you and this team? I think uh, besides of that, it's a great honor. It's a great accomplishment for the team. I think we, we played a really good game tonight. I think we shared a ball. We, we played against really good, really good team, uh, offensively and defensively. So it was a big win just to approaching to the playoffs. Yeah, this was. This is not an easy place to get a game, and this oh, is not no. an easy team to get a win. What uh, no. the, the defense really came to the fore tonight? Yes, I mean uh, the set, our second unit just started the fourth quarter really, really, really well. Uh, they they set the tone and uh, tone, and we just continued to play like that. It's been emotional. This was a special day for me. Um, the tribute, the love that the fans and the city have shown me is unbelievable. But I mean, it's mutual. Like I, this is home. I feel like it's home. I love this city, love this organization, and but I'm glad we got the win tonight. You weren't sure before the game if you were going to get the video tribute. Of course, you did get it. What was it like watching that and seeing all those memories? I almost cried. I mean, that, that means a lot, especially during the time in the video where, like, you know, my sister passed away. So that was big for the Celtics to do that. I wish my family was here so they could see it. But, I mean, this day means a lot to me. This is, this is a very special day in my life. IT almost cried. We did. Such a special thing to watch him return to what he considers his home court in front of a crowd that he knows, a crowd that he loves, a crowd that he's grown up with, one that he's played a lot of emotional moments mm -hmm. in front of. When you think of IT and the Celtics, what comes to mind? The warrior that he is, that he played through injury, that he played through one up to a a day in his life where it must have been extremely, extremely rough to play with the passing of his sister. But he's a class act. Um, he came, he came to Boston not as an MVP candidate, but he left as one. Um, he left it all on the line. True competitor. There's nothing more I can say. Like he's a great dude and, and a great competitor. I mean, th there are so many incredible memories because we were trying to beat these guys with the Atlanta Hawks in the playoffs. We ended up beating them in 2016, but Isaiah was incredible and the focal point of the game plan. So, I mean, there's a lot of great competitive memories, but then you zoom out and you, you look at, he was the 60th pick in the draft. Yeah. And went from the 60th pick in the draft to averaging almost 29 a game in right. the NBA. And so just an incredible story. And then, you know, the, the, the horrible event with his sister that he battled through, played through. And, you know, let's just hope that he gets healthy and turns the page and, and finds a spot. Because one of the challenges with this De Denver team is they're so deep. Monte Morris has been fantastic. You know, obviously they have Jamal Murray. So it's, it's uh, a lot of memories, a great young man and great job by the Celtics. And, and hopefully there's something really good for Isaiah down the road. And now on a team that has locked in a playoff berth in the Western Conference, what do you see when you look at this Denver Nuggets team? You see Nikola Jokic. You see the depth that they have on that roster. What do you see as their ceiling? Um, I, we really don't know because they have no playoff experience. But what right. they do have is a bunch of young guys who have no fear. And they've yeah. shown that. And they go out there and compete. And they rebound. And they push the tempo. And, they, and they, they can compete with anyone. But what they do have is, of course, the Joker. But they have Isaiah Thomas, who's been big in moments in the playoffs. And if things go awry and, and they need a hero, they have one on their bench um, in Isaiah Thomas, who they know they can call. He's ready for all moments. So he, they're, they're going to be extremely dangerous in the playoffs coming up. And, and I bet they want the number one seed, whereas Golden State may not care because they've been so successful in the playoffs because this Denver team has the best record in the NBA. And then the playoffs will be a little – I'm sorry, best home record in the NBA. And then the playoffs will be a little bit different with time between games. That still matters. And so, you know, to have home court advantage all the way through, that would be a big deal. They got something to play for all the way down the stretch.